welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how i got this blowout using the red air just installed the Rev Air and I'm getting ready to use it. My hair is freshly washed and deep conditioned. So I'm gonna show you all what I use to wash and deep condition today. So for my shampoo, I actually did a clay mask. Um, I use the Sultanicals Master Hair Cleanse Curl Detox. I use this today and to deep condition, I use the Mayel Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. I always like to do a protein treatment before I add heat to my hair so that's why I went in with this deep conditioner. I like to t-shirt dry my hair um, versus air drying just I find it a little bit easier for me. So this is how my hair looks after taking out the towel and now I'm gonna go in with my leave-in and heat protectant. So for my leave-in today I'm gonna be using the Product Junkie Naturals Hibiscus and Fenugreek Leave-In Conditioner and you guys have seen me use this leave-in before. I really like it. And for my heat protectant, I'm going to be using the Tresemme's, um, Tresemme's Heat Tamer. You guys have also seen me use this one as well. So, before I get started with the machine, I know you guys really want to see. I want to make sure that my hair is moisturized and protected. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, so I just, got, I just grabbed my spray bottle and I'm ready to go. Alright, so I'm just going to spray a little bit of water, work that through, and take <laughs> about this much of the leave-in conditioner. So I just finished applying the leave-in and heat protectant to my hair and it's all twisted up and now we're gonna go ahead and start and I'm gonna start with this back section because that's where I apply the products first. Um, so according to the directions for curly and coily hair it takes about 60 to 90 seconds to have your hair dry so we're going to try that out and i'm also going to be putting on a timer so i'm going to be putting on a timer just to see how long it takes me to finish and i'm going to compare that to the last time that i blow dried my hair so i'm getting my timer ready and i'm going to start it when i press the start button and the start button that i just figured out with some help <laughs> the start button is right in here and when you turn it on, the light comes on and the machine turns on. <laughs> so here we go. I'm pressing start now and I'm turning it on. So this is how it's looking so far and I actually had it on the cool setting so now I'm gonna turn it up to the um, as you can see here there's different uh, settings in the middle keeps everything cool down here is if you want low heat and up here is if you want higher heat so I'm gonna turn it to the higher heat setting and see if it makes a difference so let's try that again I 
to catch myself, y'all. I was about to curse. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So definitely on the higher setting, it made a difference. Y'all. Huh? Hello? <laughs> that was cool. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let me detangle a little bit and then I'm going to continue. But wow, y'all, I almost cursed. <laughs> I had to catch myself real quick. Wow. And another thing I want to mention not only does my hair looks good right now i didn't finger detangle um before doing this i wanted to see how it would look i wanted to see if my hair would be manageable so wow on the higher setting definitely and another thing my hair doesn't feel hot my hair doesn't feel hot at all um and i had it on the highest setting so that's awesome what look at how fluffy Okay, 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 okay. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put my hair in this one more time and we're going to move on. <laughs> I am shook. Okay okay so so far this thing is this thing is winning all right so wow wow <laughs> i've never been so excited okay 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 so that was the first section and i'm gonna continue using it and come back with my thoughts so i'm just gonna clip this section away so that it's not um so that it's not in the way. So I'll be back. <laughs> Whoa, that's insane. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, now let's detangle. That's crazy. Whoa. Wow, wow. Okay. So I just lightly detangled and I'm going to put it back in the blow dryer one more time. <laughs> this is insane. Wow. So y'all, similar to the back section, I didn't, I did not detangle before putting my hair in the dryer, and I'm able to detangle it easily, essentially. Like I didn't really do much. Wow, my hair. Hold on, hold on. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. All right. So this is the back section. I'm just going to. <laughs> I'm just going to detangle it one more time. But yeah, this is the back section. I still feel like my roots are, are a little puffy here. I feel like I, I feel some texture over here. So my hair doesn't feel completely blown out there. But I feel like I can go back and fix that. But in terms of my first impressions, wow. I wow <laughs> i don't know if that counts as an impression but i am blown away 
Do y'all see that? You see the movement? You see the airiness? Look at that, look at that. Look, okay. All right, so I'm gonna continue uh, blow drying and I'll, yeah, just, just keep watching. <laughs> I want to act out now it wants to act out that's all it's okay but seriously you guys <laughs> this is crazy all right so I'm gonna go back and put it in the um, dryer one, one more time just because I feel like I would want it a little bit um, smoother I'm trying to see you can see there's still some texture in my roots so I'm gonna try to focus more on that just to try to get it a little bit um, not straight but you know what I mean a little bit more blowed out but so far I am very impressed with this blow dryer it's it it's it's heavy it's very heavy and it has a lot going on like <laughs> there's a lot going on but Wow. Okay, let me keep let me keep going. Let me keep going. So I'm gonna put this back on and we're gonna keep moving. Another thing I wanted to mention, um, so far I feel like so far I feel like what what I've been liking with this dryer, um, as far as the meth as far as the method that I've been doing is that I like putting my hair in the dryer first, um, and then taking it out and then lightly detangling and putting it back um, in the dryer. Just just because I feel like my hair looks smoother that way uh where's the comb okay yeah so i would suggest if you are using this dryer i would suggest putting your hair in there for the first time just to get it a little bit dry then taking it out to detangle and putting it back again because i feel like i get some uh smoother results that way and like i said i did not finger detangle prior so the fact that i'm able to finger detangle like whoa use the wide tooth comb look at this insane wow so let me see if my roots look a little bit better i feel like my roots look a little bit better what do you guys think there's still some texture but i'm not straightening my hair or anything so i don't expect it to um i don't expect it to stay straight Okay, so something I'm noticing, my hair is kind of reverting back over here. My hair is kind of reverting back and it is very hot today. I have my fan on, but it is very humid. There's actually a storm <laughs> going on. But anyways, I feel like my hair is reverting back a little bit. So when I'm finished with the front section, I'm gonna go ahead and um, probably do it on the lighter setting, on the lower setting instead of the high setting. But wow, so far I am very impressed with this blow dryer. I mean, it looks like I straightened my hair. All right, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> that is insane. what y'all it looked like i straightened my hair <laughs> okay so let me see i feel like the roots look a little bit better here it's so shiny wow wow <laughs> i feel like i'm not being as descriptive i apologize i literally am just speechless so I know you guys want me to say more, but I'm trying, I'm trying. It's just, I'm blown away. <laughs> I'm blown away. So this is the first section all blowed out. Wow. What do you guys think? 
leave a comment right now let me know what you guys are thinking all right so i of course i have to do a comparison let me pause my timer i just paused the timer oh my goodness hold up Wow. Moment of silence. Okay. <laughs> Thoughts so far. Would I recommend this blow dryer? I know I'm like halfway done, but I just wanted to come in and give you my thoughts a little bit. So would I re recommend this blow dryer? Yes and no. Yes, because so far I'm loving the way my hair feels. Um, I told you guys that I'm using it on the higher setting with the higher heat, the highest heat. And when I, my hair does not feel hot at all it doesn't feel like it's burning so that's awesome because if you want to use it on the highest setting you want to make sure that your hair is not gonna fry so i really like that aspect um some other things that i like about it is that so far it's my hair um, i'm able to blow dry it a little bit quicker i checked the time and so far we're doing really good on that so i definitely feel like the con the pros would be <laughs> cutting your blow drying time in half so far i'm not done yet i still have this side to do but so far it's it's looking that way the only con that i'm having at the moment besides it being heavy but i have it sitting down on my table so that's okay besides it being heavy the only thing that i'm having a little bit of trouble with um which made me which made me say no is that i'm not getting the roots as straight as i'd like I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see I still feel like I have some texture over here and a little bit maybe back there I definitely feel it like over here I have some texture so I feel like if I'm blow drying my hair I want I would want for all of the hair to be um, straight I guess so the fact that my roots aren't getting to that point i feel like it's a little bit weird to me maybe because this is my first time using it i still need time to adjust but yeah that that would be my only con at the moment of course the price plays a part in it this was a very pricey um machine but other than that i feel like it's worth it but i also feel like you can do a good job as well with a regular blow dryer so another thing i would say is that i noticed that my hair feels smoother much smoother and shinier so i really like that it feels smoother and shinier so that's another plus another con i know i'm going back and forth but i'm just thinking about this as i go along another con that i think might be that might throw you off a little bit is that the hair doesn't stay as sleek for a long time i noticed before um before i went ahead and did this side again i noticed that as soon as i finished and it was just staying there it got poofy a little bit you know um, like I said, it is warm in here, but I don't know if that's all of it. I feel like I noticed that my hair um, started to poof up, but yeah, I feel like other than those things, right now it's an 8 out of 10 for me. So we'll see when I'm done with this if I feel like it's a 10 out of 10, but right now it's an 8 out of 10. And yeah, I am I still have, I feel like, yeah, it's not as straight, but that's okay i'm not straightening my hair <laughs> this wasn't the point of this video so that's fine i'm just going to clip this section away and continue
roots on this side looks a little better. I don't know, man. I still feel some here, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. I stopped the timer and I'm gonna check it for you guys in a minute. So we stopped at 35 minutes and 22 seconds. And from my last video, I think it took 38 minutes. So <laughs> we beat the last blow drying video by three minutes. Oh my goodness. Wow. So this is it. This is my hair all blowed out using the Rev Air. You remember what I said earlier about the hair shrinking up? This is what I mean. As you guys can see, this is the freshly blow dried section and this is the section that was done a little bit earlier. Not too big of a difference, but it is noticeable. So like I said, that's something to keep in mind. But all in all, I really enjoyed using this blow dryer. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention, as you guys probably can tell, my energy is probably a little off. I'm a little bit hungry, but also this thing is heavy. <laughs> I got my arm workout for today, definitely. Next time you guys see my guns, you know why, because of this. Um, but all in all, yeah, I really like how my hair looks. I feel like I have a lot of shine. My hair feels very soft and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel hot. It doesn't feel like, you know, I just blow dried it, even though I know I just did. but. It doesn't feel like it at all it feels soft and pillowy and very fluffy and I'm excited to have this in my blow drying routine um, I'm not gonna I don't want to say that this will be the only dryer I use I still like my other dryer but if I'm on a if I'm in a pinch and I need to blow dry my hair quickly I feel like I'll reach for this more so is it worth it yes I think it's worth it but it's not um, I don't, I don't feel like if you don't have this dryer that you know you're missing out a ton there are of course a lot of benefits to this dryer but I also feel like for the price of it if you're not able if you're not able to afford it you know I don't want I don't want you to feel like you know your dryer is not good as well so for the you know if you are interested in getting it you definitely will get your money's worth however it's not necessary if that makes any sense do i like it yes would i recommend it yes and no like i said earlier um i think now that i'm done and i'm all finished i will give this a 9 out of 10 versus the 8 out of 10. it doesn't it doesn't get the 10 out of 10 for me just because of the some of the things that i've mentioned to you guys earlier like i feel like my roots aren't um, then get as straight as I'd like and you know it's a little bit heavy um, and some of the other things that I said earlier but all in all I feel like it's a good investment that is what it is definitely an investment um, it's a good investment I feel like if you take care of it it will last you a long time so that's good and my hair feels good it doesn't it doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel um, I don't know it doesn't feel like it's burnt or anything definitely make sure you add heat protectant to this to your hair before you dry it and if I were to describe how it felt when my hair went into this I don't know if you guys can see but the way it felt if have you guys ever okay <laughs> When you guys were younger, did you ever like put your hand or anything on the vacuum? I don't know, but that's how it felt. It just felt like I was just sticking my hair in a vacuum. It, essentially, that's what it is. It's a hair vacuum. <laughs> it just feels like that's what I was doing. It felt strange at first. I'm not going to lie. It felt strange, but I got the hang of it and I feel like, you know, I don't mind it. It just feels like I put my hair in a vacuum. <laughs> So that that would be the only way I can describe it, but it didn't hurt or anything um, There were some points where it did feel a little too hot to my scalp, but nothing crazy I think I was just holding it in a weird way, but the machine itself didn't get hot So that's that's good because like I said, this is very heavy. So this part didn't get hot um my hair didn't feel burnt or anything so all in all i'm very pleased with it and yeah 
so i hope you guys enjoyed this blowout video let me do a quick turn so you guys can see how everything looks all right so that is all for today's video y'all i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next time <laughs> ow y'all my neck is gonna come out but y'all gonna see this hair yes okay 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 i'm good